What's going on guys, T Torres back here for another video. As you can see behind me, we do have the uh, Duramax AK Frankenstein is up on the lift. And today we are going to be installing the Kryptonite uh, Ultimate uh, front end kit. Uh, as you can see here, we have their uh, beefy tie rods. And I cannot wait to show you all the uh, factory stock ones that come off the LMM. Or yeah, the LMM. And then we have the sway bar that we're gonna connect to the tie rods. And then with that, we have the uh, idler arm. Look how beefy and massive that is. And then here is the, I think this is the Pitman. What is this? Spine, okay. There's that boy. And then we have the idler support. Look how beefy uh, that stuff is. So this is definitely gonna make the front end uh, a lot better and then we have our um, support that's going to get welded on and then we have all the um, supplied hardware that comes with it so with that being said i'll show you where we're at now of course we have the wheels removed we're going to start with the um, tie rods you got a 21 millimeter to take this off we've already loosened it and then i think this one we already had we already have loose uh, we just knocked it out with a hammer and we're going to do the same thing on the other side and um yeah, hopefully, hopefully this goes smooth. Everything on here, like I said, this is like a 12, uh, 13 year old truck. You can go ahead and hit that one. Boom. All right, so let's go on to the next step. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is you're gonna take an 18 millimeter socket and a wrench and get this steering stabilizer loose. As you can see here, we have the, uh, we have the bolt now missing and then we're gonna take it out of a little bushing. There you go, just like that. Okay, so just to get you guys caught up, um, after you get the, the tie rods loose, as you can see here, we went ahead and got the, uh, what was this, the, what arm is this? I can't remember. That's not the idler arm, is it? Or is that the pitman arm? That's the one. The idler steering. Pitman. Yeah, this is the one that's on the steering. We went ahead and got that loose with an adjustable wrench. And then over here, uh, there's two bolts that are 20, 21 millimeter, I believe. Yeah, 21, take those two out right there. And that is gonna be this, the, the new support bracket that Kryptonite supplies you. You'll, you'll go back into those two uh, bracket holes, put the new bracket on and weld that on. And then we got this, this nut here loose. And we are now going to be taking a pickle fork and dropping that loose and it should drop uh, the tie rod and then the, um, the sway bar. Everything else is loose and uh, ready to come straight off. All right, so as you can see, we have the factory um, center link and tie rods out, and then we're building the new Kryptonite one on the ground. We got it as close as we possibly can with the adjustable tie rods. We're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down. And then one thing that has given us a headache is here. Uh, for some reason, our pickle fork is not, not doing the job on breaking that loose. So we have got to figure out how to get that loose. And then we've got to, we have to swap over this part and then build, build this section up get that off and get everything back on the truck. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully this won't take too, too terribly much longer. Okay, we're getting everything mocked up on the ground now. As you can see here, here is the uh, pitman arm. And then we have the idler arm and we have our tie rod end links uh, as close as possible to the factory spec. And then you have to um, take your damper, shock, whatever. And we're gonna mount that back to the this member right here and um, and then we have to deal with these, oh, let me get the lighting, these links. We got new ones of those that Kryptonite supplied and then all new hardware. And then we'll go over the uh, factory torque specs uh, once, once we get everything exactly how we want it and ready to get uh, thrown up in the truck. Okay, so next we have a 15 millimeter up top and then we have a 15 down here on our impact. We're gonna go ahead and take this part loose. Just like, just like that. And then of course, uh, Kryptonite has uh, supplied us uh, with some new hardware and then we'll go ahead and get that replaced. Okay, so Samuel was able to finally, uh, we tried to source a uh, Pitman arm puller and we couldn't. So all we had was a pickle fork, we ended up heating it up, making it a little bit bigger. Finally got the uh, freaking Pitman arm loose. That took uh, forever. But I wanna show you guys something. Look at the difference between the factory tie rods and then the new kryptonite ones, that is an insane amount of difference. 
So now that we have that pitman arm out, we can go ahead and finish uh, reassembling everything and get this job wrapped up and get this truck back on the road. Okay, so as you can see here, the next part that we put on, uh, here's your clevis. We have this built in. There's a bushing here uh, at the bottom, and then your two gold washers that Kryptonite supplied go at the bottom here and the top here. And then the bottom one uh, down there has a washer as well. And then on the bottom, this bolt right here that I don't have showing, uh, it gets torqued down to 70 foot pounds. And then we'll go ahead and go over uh, the torque specs on this one and then the top one. We're gonna go ahead and torque the bottom one first. And then as you can see, Samuel was adding some blue Loctite um, to the bolt. Okay, so on the linkage here, the bottom bolt that goes to the clevis gets 70 foot pounds. And then this bolt that I'm pushing to or pointing to uh, gets um, 60 foot pounds. And then the it's bolt on the bottom, we use a 15 16 uh, to well a deep well socket to tighten that puppy down. All right, next step, we went ahead and assembled this piece. Um, we got it torqued down to 46, and then we are at the part. Let's see if I can get in here. We are gonna weld right here. We have our surface cleaned off, and that is where the bracket is gonna go from there. We'll get that in, get this part in, and then we'll install the new tie rod uh, with the soy bar and links, the center link uh, into the truck. So next, we're gonna go ahead and weld. So All right, so like I mentioned in the previous clip, this lock nut actually gets torqued down to 100 foot-pounds, and then the two supplied bolts that go into the new kryptonite um, bracket that we're gonna weld up also get torqued down to 100 foot-pounds. Okay, so just to give you guys a little update, we're putting everything back into place. Here is the first look at the tie rods. We're gonna begin an alignment also this week. There's the center link along with everything else. We're going back in and making sure we get everything um, torqued down to spec. Uh, once I get the alignment done, they're gonna have to come back and torque down the tie rod ends to 200 foot pounds. I believe that's what they called for. So yeah, as you can see, here is everything like it is. Okay, so I know in the last clip I said 200. These go to uh, 80 foot pounds. Uh, all the torque specs are on the instructions that they give you in the box. And then there's some other ones that we got torqued down as best we could. And then whenever we get the front end aligned, we'll have to go in and torque them down to uh, 200 foot pounds. So Samuel's tightening up the last piece on the uh, on the inner tie rod spot to the center link. And uh, yeah, that's that. It's crazy to think how much more beefier these uh, <laughs> these tie rods are than the uh, actual factory one. It's crazy to think that they actually put this on, you know, a three quarter, one ton truck. Blows my mind. Okay, so we finally uh, wrapped up the uh, the front end kit on the uh, truck. Um, took a little bit longer than expected because we didn't have the the uh, pitman arm puller. Um, that's unfortunate. Make sure you get you a uh, a pitman arm puller. That is definitely 100% must. And other than that, once you get that pitman arm out, everything went went great. What do you what do you think the hardest thing was? Uh, torquing everything on the truck instead of off the truck. Probably should. Put all your little bolts into your your bar before and on torque the them down. Link. Yeah, on the center definitely link. make sure when you're doing the center link and the tie rods, go ahead and tie, go ahead and torque all that stuff down. That was definitely a pain, us having to torque it uh, up in the air. Um, but super fortunate that we had a lift. So thanks Zach for uh, letting us use the lift. And uh, yeah, next thing we got to do is get the front end aligned and then get them to torque the rest of the parts that need to be torqued down to um, 200 foot pounds on a couple different parts. Um, other than that never done this kit before on the truck so big huge shout out to kryptonite for uh hooking us up with these products um if you're stopping into the channel for the first time please leave this button please leave this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications and i'll catch y'all in the next video thank you samuel for your help